All right, Lee's coming multiple again. This time we're going to use prime factorization. Okay, so we need to think about again, what does the word multiple mean? Well, a multiple of a number is any time you take a whole number, uh, I'll use the example 6, and you multiply it by another whole number that isn't 0. You can't use 0. So 6 times uh, 1. The multiple is the product. This is 6. 6 times 2 would give me a product of 12. That's another multiple of 6. 6 times 3 equals 18, 24, 30, 36. I could go on. Uh, those are multiples. Now, common multiples are when we have uh, two numbers that have a multiple in common. So if I use the number 4, 4 times 1 equals 4, 4 times 2 equals 8, and 4 times 3 equals 12. The number 12 is a common multiple for 6 and 4. Now, to find the least common multiple, we have a few different strategies that you can use to find this. And the one we're going over this time is using prime factorization to find the least common multiple. So I'm going to use the numbers 9 and 6. Let's first do the prime factorization for 9 and 6. I'm going to use the division ladder method for 9. 9 divided by 3 is equal to 3. Now I can take the 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1, but 1 isn't a prime number, so my prime factorization would be 9 equals 3 times 3. Now I need to do the prime factorization for the number 6. I'm going to use the factor tree method on this one. 6 is the same as 2 times 3. Both of these numbers are prime numbers, so my prime factorization would be 6 equals 2 times 3. Now, in order to find the least common multiple using these two prime factorizations, I'm going to have to look at both numbers and see what kind of factors appear. I see a 3 and a 2. Now, the one that has the 3 appearing the most often, I will circle that one. Right here we have two threes, and this one only has one. So I'm going to circle the two threes because it appears most often, two times. Over here, we have a two. And the two only appears once, but once is the most often. So it's another factor, and it must be circled since it appears the most often. Now I simply take these numbers and multiply them together. Three times three times two. 3 times 3 is 9, times 2 equals 18. My least common multiple using the prime factorization method is 18. Well, hope this helped you out. See ya!